spirit riding free, the adventure begins. A new novel telling the story of Lucky's life before meeting spirit. Page 139. Lucky sat in her grandfather's private box, perched high above the opera house stage. Though the hall lights had been dimmed, it was easy to see fellow audience members thanks to a ring of fire that burned smack dab in the center of the stage. As Lucky squeezed the armrests of her chair, she almost forgot to breathe. The show was about to begin. The audience hushed as cowgirl Betty, sitting atop her black stallion shadow, made her entrance. Just as before, Shadow wore feathers in his mane and a beautiful red blanket on his back. Betty wore her cowgirl hat, her red bandana, and fringed pants. With a swing of her leg, she slid out of the saddle, then waved her hat at the audience. Everyone cheered. Lucky tightened her grip on the armrests, her jaw clenching with anticipation. Were they going to do it? Were Betty and Shadow actually going to jump through that ring of fire? But rather than getting back onto her horse, Betty did something strange. She reached out her hand, and suddenly Lucky found herself standing on the stage. Confused, she spun around. The ring was directly behind her, its flames licking the air. She spun back around. Hundreds of upturned faces cast in flickering orange light stared at her from the seats. What am I doing here? Lucky asked. Betty smiled at her. You're going to show everyone what you're made of. She plopped her hat onto Lucky's head, and in an instant, Lucky was sitting on the saddle. Cowgirl Betty led Shadow to a position at the edge of the stage, then turned him to face the fire. She handed the reins to Lucky and stepped away. Lucky's entire body tensed. Wait, was Shadow going to jump with her on his back? But Lucky had no training. This was impossible. Or was it? Show them what you're made of. With a tight grip on the reins, she opened her mouth to give the command, but all that came out was, Lucky! Up in the private box seat, Aunt Cora wagged a finger. You get down here this instant, or you'll be late for school! School? Lucky's eyes flew open. As if a twister had suddenly touched down in Lucky's bedroom, the covers flew off the bed, a bathrobe was yanked from its hook, and a blur of color dashed down the stairs. What time is it, Lucky asked, as she pushed her tangled hair from her eyes. Am I late? To read more, ask for a copy of Spirit Riding Free, The Adventure Begins by Suzanne Selfors at your local bookstore or online. And don't forget to watch DreamWorks Spirit Riding Free, now streaming on Netflix.